Today is October the 7th. My name is Hunter. And we are on a journey into the loving heart of God. We meet here each day on this podcast to read from Scripture, to reflect, and to pray. Our reading today begins in Psalm 111. Then we go to Numbers 4, 34, through chapter 5, verse 4. And we finish in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 111. Praise the Lord. I will thank the Lord with all my heart as I meet with his godly people. How amazing are the deeds of the Lord. All who delight in him should ponder them. Everything he does reveals his glory and majesty. His righteousness never fails. He causes us to remember his wonderful works. How gracious and merciful is our Lord. He gives food to those who fear him. He always remembers his covenant. He has shown his great power to his people by giving them the land of other nations. All he does is just and good. And all his commandments are trustworthy. They are forever true, to be obeyed faithfully and with integrity. He has paid a full ransom for his people. He has guaranteed his covenant with them forever. What a holy, awe-inspiring name he has. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true wisdom. All who obey his commandments will grow in wisdom. Forever praise him. Numbers 4 So Moses, Aaron, and the other leaders of the community listed members of the Korathite division by their clans and families. The list included all the men between 30 and 50 years of age who were eligible for service in the tabernacle. And the total number came to 2,750. So this was the total of all those from the Korathite clans who were eligible to serve at the tabernacle. Moses and Aaron listed them just as the Lord had commanded through Moses. The Gershonite division was also listed by its clans and families. The list included all the men between 30 and 50 years of age who were eligible for service in the tabernacle, and the total number came to 2,630. So this was the total of all those from the Gershonite clans who were eligible to serve at the tabernacle. Moses and Aaron listed them just as the Lord had commanded. The Maorite division was also listed by its clans and families. The list included all the men between 30 and 50 years of age who were eligible for service in the tabernacle. And the total number came to 3,200. So this was the total of all those from the Maorite clan who were eligible for service. Moses and Aaron listed them, just as the Lord had commanded through Moses. So Moses, Aaron, and the leaders of Israel listed all the Levites by their clans and families. All the men between 30 and 50 years of age, who were eligible for service in the tabernacle for its transportation, numbered 8,580. When their names were recorded, as the Lord had commanded through Moses, each man was assigned his task and told what to carry. And so the registration was completed just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The Lord gave these instructions to Moses. Command the people of Israel to remove from the camp anyone who has a skin disease, or a discharge, or who has become ceremonially unclean by touching a dead person. This command applies to men and women alike. Remove them so that they will not defile the camp in which I live among them. So the Israelites did as the Lord had commanded Moses and removed such people from the camp. 2 Timothy 2, 1-7 through Timothy, my dear son, be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. You have heard me teach these things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus, 
Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who enlisted them. And athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. And hard-working farmers should be the first to enjoy the fruit of their labor. Think about what I'm saying. The Lord will help you understand all these things. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people of God. Amen. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I may not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive, it is in the pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in the dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives by giving up ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen.
and now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me invite you to join us for tomorrow's podcast. We meet each day to journey together into the loving heart of God. You can also join our other podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we journey through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to experience and have an encounter with the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com. The music for this podcast was provided by the artist and composer David Neveu. Find out more about his music at davidneveu.com. And now let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved. All righty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.